Hey everyone, Scott Smith with the Smith team at Keller Williams. Uh, happy March 25th. Happy Friday. Um, wanted to share with you some uh, real timely information on what is happening uh, with interest rates and how that is impacting the real estate market or what we might expect it to impact the real estate market. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the first thing is affordability. And, um, you know, obviously we want to keep it in perspective. Um, if we went back 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, uh, interest rates have been low <laughs> and trajectory uh, downward uh, over time. Uh, but there's some fluctuations with that. Um, the biggest thing from our affordability standpoint standpoint is a monthly payment for um, for anyone that's taken on a mortgage. And the rule of thumb that we've always used is saying that it's about $60 for every $100,000 or every $10,000 that's that's mortgaged. So uh, if you have a $100,000 mortgage, it's going to be about 600 bucks a month uh, at today's interest rates. So as that goes up or down, obviously, you're going to have a little bit of an impact, $60 for every uh, uh, 10000 that's that's mortgaged. So a uh, $200,000 mortgage is about $1,200 bucks, uh, a month for principal and interest. And that going from uh, from 4% to 4.5%, and we might even see 5% by the end of the year, it does have an impact, certainly, uh, for people that are a little bit uh, tighter on their qualifying. Uh, but there are definitely some options with that. We've talked to some of our clients about uh, back in the old days, we used to buy down an interest rate using points. Uh, so paying to, to get a lower interest rate. Uh, looking at if it's a house that you're going to maybe be in for the short term, looking at a, a, a conservative adjustable rate mortgage. There's anywhere from five years, seven year, 10 year uh, arms, adjustable rate mortgages that will be locked for that per, that period of time. If you're only going to plan on being in the house for, for a short amount of time, it's a great way to save uh, save some money. So that, that's uh, from an affordability standpoint, just a couple different ways uh, that we can uh, work around the rising interest rates. The other question we ask is, how is that going to impact prices? Because if affordability is going down, is that going to have an impact on prices? And the easy answer is yes. Um, how much, um, I guess we'll be finding out that in the next few months. Uh, but basically what the Fed is trying to do is pump the brakes on the economy, come in for a little bit softer landing and stabilize the real estate market, uh, which I've said it for the last couple of years is that the, the, the market right now, it's very strong, it's not sustainable and it's not healthy for, for all parties. We'd like to see something that's uh, a little bit more balanced with inventory, uh, having a little bit longer market time and not the crazy bidding wars where we're seeing whole, you know, 12, 13, 15, 20 offers on, on properties and they're going well over list price. Uh, it's just not sustainable. So um, we're hopeful that the interest rates will maybe take some of those buyers out of the market and help things stabilize a bit. Um, which brings up the next thing is the activity. How is that going to impact the activity in the marketplace? Um, we, we think that's going to continue to stay strong for this year because we're not seeing a, as big of a bump in the interest rates. Um, we're kind of at the end of the, uh, the the prediction for the end of 22 is to be right around four and a half. And we're right around that point uh, right now, if not a little bit less. So um, if we just fast forward another six, eight months, uh, we're probably right where we thought we'd be anyway. And that's from Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, Mortgage Bankers Association, National Association of Realtors. All those smart people in the room uh, are, are predicting that that's kind of where we're going to end up with. Um, what I want to talk more about is the perspective. Uh, what does this mean and how, how do we look at it from a historical perspective over the last six years? So the chart that I'm sharing with you um, kind of goes through uh, where we're looking at what the interest rates were for any given year. So 2018, if you look back that top gray line, uh, we were actually approaching 5%, which is above where we were or where we are right now. Um, you can see 2017, looking back, where they started to decline. Uh, 2017, 2018, and then going into 2019, uh, we've seen uh, them continuously go down as the economy grew. And uh, with COVID, obviously, they everything got pushed way down to try and keep the economy going. So the Fed was really conservative with that. We knew that interest rates would be coming up, but I thought this chart was just a really good historical perspective. It's not a continuous line, but it kind of overlays annually what uh, what that looks like. So um, share this with people. Take a look at it. Um, the market, the sky isn't falling. The market's not falling. We're expecting it to stabilize, and uh, it's going to feel like we're going <clears throat> coming back from uh, Duluth, going from 80 miles an hour down to 60 miles an hour. So it's going to feel like we're putting on the brakes, uh, but hopefully it'll just kind of coast in. Uh, and stabilize what's going on right now. So still a great opportunity to buy, still a great opportunity to sell. So if there's anything you need, certainly reach out to us, 651-777-3434. Have a great weekend. Take care.